Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Walhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. Nobody memorized the hadith from yesterday. Yeah. Kick everybody out the masjid right now. Nobody memorized the hadith. Huh? Uh, which hadith? Uh, nah, this is this extra stuff that I gave. Uh, he said, I mean, when the Prophet saw it, when they were asking the Prophet saw it, some about who the best of people. Uh, uh, <coughs> and I don't know. Yeah, but that, that part was in the night. Yes. But give me what you know. Tell me what you know. Yeah. No, 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 come to that, the Yusuf. Yusuf ibn al-Nabi Allah, ibn al-Nabi Allah, ibn al-Nabi Allah, ibn al-Khalil Allah. So Yusuf ibn al-Man. Ibn al-Nabi Allah. Who is that Nabi? Ibn al-Nabi Allah. Who is the Nabi? Man who? Yaqub. Yaqub. From the man. So Ibrahim is who? The Khalil. And what about uh, who's the other Khalil? And what's your deliver? What's the deliver for her? Because we talked about in Imam al Tahawiyah, Imam al Tahawiyah, Rahimullah, in the Aqidah al Tahawiyah, he said, when he was talking about the Prophet, he said, Wa Habibu Rabbi al Alameen. He said, Habib, when we were talking about this, so we said, which is higher to say that the Prophet وسلم, is a Habibullah or is he the Khalilullah? No, no, no. That he's the Khalil, right? So we say that the Prophet وسلم, is Habibullah, what are we doing? We're lowering status, lowering status. Because anybody, any movement can be Habibullah, he can be Ma'bub in Allah. So the Khalilullah, the Prophet وسلم, is also the second Khalil. But what's the deal? The deal is Arabi. With the hadith, I want the Arabic. No, but I can saw him. No, but I saw him. Khalil Allah. I saw it. Yes. Alhamdulillah. So, somebody is paying attention to this. Alhamdulillah. All right. Um, but, Alhamdulillah, Hadi. I have a question. Uh, what's the difference? Is one Allah befriended someone, and then the other one is. Like you were saying, you're a friend of Allah by saying Habib Allah. No, no. Al Khula is the highest form of Al Muhabba, which is the highest level of love. All right, so saying that he's Habib Allah, in Allah he has the Mutaqeen, in Allah he has the Sabirin. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the servants, min al Mu'minin, wa Mutaqeen, wa Sabirin, wa Shakirin. So all of these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them. And we took the hadith yesterday about what? What happened with the, the hadith? When Allah SWT united his sama, he united Jibril. He called Ya Jibril. And he ahibu fulan, wish, ahibu. So he united Jibril to Ahl al-Sama, he called in Allah, he ahibu fulan, ahibu. So, you know, here he's saying that, okay, that Allah SWT, he calls out to Jibril, and he says to him that, I love his servants, so you love him also. And then, he, then Jibril calls out to the other malaika in the sama, and says what? That I love his servants, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves his servants, so all of you also love him. Thumma yuja'ahu wa al qubul of the dunya. Alright, then the people, then the acceptance is put in the heart of the people in the dunya, which is the believers, because obviously that acceptance is not for the kuffar, because the kuffar are going to fight against the people of the, of the truth. But in the believers, in the hearts of the believers, that acceptance, and then he becomes, he gets that acceptance, so he's beloved by the people. So this is muhabba, this is like the basic love. This is for obedience. Anybody that stays with the obedience of Allah SWT and stays away from his prohibition, that's what you gain in the love of Allah SWT. But when we talk about the khulla, and then being a khalil of Allah SWT, that's only for two individuals. And that's for who? Number one, Ibrahim. And number two, 
his his word, his Leah, his word and his actions are the same. Yeah, it's not just being truthful about your speech, but you say that you're a Muslim, right? And what is what is Islam? It's, it's Islam the Lahi Tawheen. Well in Qiyadah the Bara, well Baratum in the Shirki Wahi. So this is the tarif of Islam. Let's Islam Lillah that you submit your whole entire self to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhaladin aminu dukunu fi sallni kafatan. Kafa, that you enter into Islam with your whole self. So when you say that I'm a Muslim, that you mean that you're submitting your whole self to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're not being like the Jews and the Christians of Hatukminun Abi Ba'ad al-Kitab wa Taqfurun Abi Ba'ad. Where they believe in a part of the book and then they just believe in another part of the book. No, we believe in the whole entire book and we submit our entire selves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this deen and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. So he said, what? It's the Islam and Lahim Tawheed. So that we single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all forms of worship. Well, in Qiyad al And what does Al mean? What is this word, Al Qiyad? Now, once once we know what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has commanded us to do, what we do it, and Quran and speech stops. There's no oh, but you know, uh, you know what I can uh, no. We once we know what we have to do, we do it. And then Qiyad means you just follow, you follow fully, and you don't you don't ask questions, you don't say the why 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 why. You do what you're supposed to do. And they said, he said, and I'm Qiyad al Qita'a with obedience. وَالْبَرَعَةُ مِنَ الشِّرْكِ وَأَهْلِهِ And to do what? What's the last part? الْبَرَعَةُ What does this mean? Like, you know, to have nothing to do with the people of shirk and, you know, to the shirk itself and to stay away from shirk and all the people of shirk. We don't dress like them, we don't talk like them, we don't act like them because your submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it should come out with what? Everything. Your speech, your behavior, your attitude, your actions, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you deal with people, everything. If you're truthful and you fall in this ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So who are the people that salaku? Those are the people that live this. You know, it's on their act, it's in their actions, it's in their behavior, everything about them. what? And can they be? The people, oh, I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim, but he disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala night and day. But he says what? Oh, I love Allah, I love Allah, but he disobeys Allah. Does that make any sense? Because a part of obedience is what? Part of muhabba, or a part of loving someone is what? Is obedience to that person, right? Would you say that your wife loves you if she, diso if she disobeys you every single day? Does she? So why do you have that same, why do you have a different, you have one mizan, one scale that you deal with the people, but then you have a different scale when you deal with Allah? No, if the, you don't like people disobey you and say, ah, oh, you don't love me because you don't obey me, then how are you going to know what Allah? Well, what did Imam Shafi said? He said, Ta'asil laha wa tuthir hubuhu. Like this is like you say, you, you, you say that you love Allah, but you dis but you disobey him. He said this is like a, a deduction, like this type of deduction that you made is, 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 is an amazing deduction because it's impossible. He said, what? what? If your if your love for Allah was truthful, you would have done what? You would have obeyed on him. So in the muhibba liman yuhibbu what? Mu'tayru. That everyone that loves is to the one that he loves, obedience. So if you're from the Salihin, then you're obedient. If you're from the Kalimin, I'm Muslim, but you're smoking weed. I'm Muslim, you're dressing like the kuffar. I'm Muslim, you listen to music. I'm Muslim, but you, you know, you're watching movies and you're not even reading the Quran, you're not, what's that? Come on, man. Well, I'm in Al-Kadhibin. So the rest part of the last part of this hadith after this he said what? Inna dunya hurmatun khadiratun wa inna Allah mustakhlifukum fiha. Alright, mustakhlifukum fiha means what? And this goes back to the ayah where Allah said he's going to make Adam what? The Khalifa. Right, what does the Khalifa here mean? Leaders. No, it's not leaders. It means yaknukum ba'dukum ba'dukum. It means that you're gonna have a child, your child's gonna have a child, and you know, you're gonna, the, the progeny is gonna continue, you know, so you're stuck in, and you, so 
you're going to have generations after generations, a generation that has a generation. So this is istikhlaf. And this is what is meant by the Khalifa. It mean, it mean like Khalifa, like Amir al Mumini, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, Yahlukun ba'ahum ba'ahum. This is in tafsir. You can go back and check it. So he said, what? He said, Hurwatun khadiratun inna Allah mustakhlifukum biha fa yandurun kayfa ta'amun. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to see how you act with this, with all this appealing to your desire. Fattahul dunya. So then he said, what? He said, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with how you act with the dunya and your dealings with the dunya. That means when you're doing anything that you're doing, business and everything, it has to be what? Halal, Quran and Sunnah. You're not selling alcohol, you're not selling cigarettes, you're not selling things that are haram. Fattahul dunya. Wattahul nisa. And then he said, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your what? With your dealings with the women and how you deal with women. That all your relations with women are what? Are halal. You don't get on the phone and talk to a woman who's not, that you're not a mahram for. Don't care who she is. No, I grew up with her. It's not permissible for you to talk to her, right? So this is this is the dealings with the women. We keep all of our dealings with the women halal. I mean, why did he say this? Because he said, in the awwal, the fitna, the fitna to Bani Israel. The first fitna of Bani Israel was within what? Kenneth and he said, it was because of women. They started getting a little soft with the women, a little loose with the women, and then what? That caused their destruction. So we keep all of our dealings in the dunya, according to the Quran and the Sunnah, our dealings with women, according to the Quran and the Sunnah, and this way we be from the Sadiqeen, inshallah, and hopefully in the Sadiqeen, you know, where Allah SWT, he mentioned the, the best of all people, where, you know, in Surah Al-Fatiha, إِهْدِيَنَ سِرَاطُ الْمُسْتَقِينَ Oh, Sirat was. Who are these people? Min al anbiya'i wa 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 siddiqin wa shuhada'i wa salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa. And he said, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, these are the people that you know, these are the highest people. You got the anbiya, the prophets, wa siddiqin, the people who are just everything about them is truthful. Their the words, their actions, everything about them is what? Truthful. Siddiqin wa shuhada, the shuhada are what? The people who die in the path of Allah, yes, they killed in the path of Allah. Was salihin and the righteous people. Was hasuna ulaika rafiqa. And what does this mean? A rafiq is a person that you do what in the Arabic language. What is a rafiq? Sahibu is sahr. But now these, this hasuna ulaika rafiqa. What are what, where are they going? Where where is it going to be at on the day of judgment? That these are the best people to be companions with on the day of judgment, to be raised up with. So these are the people that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from them. And make them the end. Allahumma jalla min sadiqeen. Allahumma jalla min sadiqeen. Any questions? No? Subhanahu wa ta'ala wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Astaghfirullah wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.